it's a very challenging course, especially with the hill. But yeah, I like the hilly, hilly course. It reminds me a bit of my home course in Karlovy Vary, so I hope it will be a good one for me. My WTS season was the worst in many, many years, so I wasn't really happy with that. And Win in Carlo Ivari makes it a bit sweeter, but doesn't make it a good season. But being here and maybe having a few more opportunities later in the fall, I still have the time or opportunities to make it a better one. I just have to do my best, don't panic and try to do my best swim because my swim wasn't really good this season. So I will see where I will be out of the water and if I'm too far then I have to push as much as I can on the bike and try to close the gap and we will see on the run. You come to a World Cup, my first World Cup and uh, it's a tough one, it's not easy. I will try to do my best. Um, thanks a lot I have that team which is supporting here. Um, I really need that support in my first race. I'm the youngest girl on the short list. I'm the youngest girl in the top ranked athletes. So that would really have been tough if I was alone. Um, so they are very supportive and helpful. The main goal I have now is to be the first ever um, Arab to uh, represent the Arabs in the Olympic Games with the Arabic as a Muslim language. So that's what we are looking for. It was a lot of traveling, a lot of racing. Qualified for the Olympic Games, it was a big race in Tokyo, but I'm a bit tired now, so I'm spending, spending one week at home, uh, but I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I raced here last year, well, did a breakaway, I will try again tomorrow, but my legs are a bit tired, you know, after Lausanne wasn't feeling the same, so uh, we will see tomorrow. Every race is really hard, you have to fight for your points, and I think this year is another step towards uh, and to next year it's going to be hard for racing and so but I'm really happy with my performance this year it was like consistency top 20 in the WTS I always try to do something sometimes it worked out and sometimes not but I would try to do like the, the plan was here to do a podium but I have to adapt a bit and Maybe the top 10 should be all right. As a, a small federation, as Moroccan federation, we, we are not traveling with a, with a team. Uh, now we are two from a, a Moroccan team, but uh, usually I, I used to travel uh, alone uh, without a team manager, without a coach, without uh, friends to, uh, to spend time with them before the race. So it's like a team spirit. We, uh, we are feeling more confident because we have people with us uh, to check the bike, to, uh, to help us before the race, so it's totally different. Like, uh, and I hope it's gonna inspire us after for when we're gonna have a big federation with a lot of athletes. I think this is a good experience for us to maybe, uh, yeah, for the legacy for the, the new generation in, Mor in Morocco. Our group is really, really amazing. Everybody's doing really well this year, and it's very inspiring. And yeah, to every day be surrounded by one of the best athletes in the world. That's very. Yeah, it's always pushing me to work harder and be better. And yeah, I'm, I'm very, very lucky to be a part of a group like that. I like a hard course. The harder the bike course, the better for me. So I'm really hoping to do well this, this weekend. And yeah, it's a very strength-based course and I feel like I'm a strong and powerful athlete, so it should suit me well. And yeah, I will do my best. <laughs> <laughs>